Connectivity is, is probably the second thing everyone asks for, the camera and the connectivity. I need range. Um, certainly in urban environments, the high RF means that even though you may not want to go 12 miles, you need a signal that's strong enough to do that because you're going to be flying in RF rich environments. You'll fly behind trees, behind buildings, and that's not only important for flying by hand with tactical operations, um, but that's also important for advanced operations like drone as a first responder. Rather than just focusing on the, the single radio link between the, the controller and the drone, we, we took an um, approach where we wanted to sort of enable a, a, a suite of connectivity options. And, and between those three connectivity means, we have a rich fabric that allows crisp video and responsive controls and seamless connectivity no matter how complicated of a mission you throw at the X-10. We kind of started over from the ground up with new hardware that was optimized in terms of its sensitivity and antenna performance to provide maximal coverage in all directions. We added uh, capabilities that, that improve performance in a congested environment by sig significantly improving the link that transmits from the controller to the drone. We have an asymmetric link. The command and control that is used from the controller to the drone is very, very narrow. We don't send a lot of data to control the drone. The downlink is actually standard. It's a meaningful and significant benefit, and it sustains the link further out and make it much more robust. The multiband radio on the X10 offers a wide range of flexibility, allowing users to select specific frequencies tailored to their operating environment. This was an important design consideration for optimizing radio performance in support of global government and international customers. With this next generation uh, uh, drone, the one feature that I'm most excited about is the maximum range that we're going to get. So in our case, we basically use, uh, do a lot of uh, innovations in the materials that we use, in the type of PCB materials that we choose, the type of wires we actually put into our system for better shielding, better uh, noise immunity, and uh, better noise rejection from the environment around it. The X10 has a 5G cellular modem directly integrated in that allow you to sort of hand off seamlessly between a controller and, and a remote operator in a, in a web browser. Being able to pilot uh, from anywhere to anywhere is really a, the next generation of like where drones need to go. You need to be able to put them on a, a wide area network like a cellular network and give access to the video stream. And so we you know, really thought about a lot of the use cases for streaming, for direct connection, for remote operation and you know we're like 5G cellular it has to be in our next generation product. You can now have this one tool that has so many incredible innovations inside of it and a wireless system that allows you to extract all of that information in real time wherever you are whether you're right next to it flying it manually or if you're sitting somewhere in your office and you're flying it remotely. 